Hello, everybody. It is a beautiful spring day, and I am going to do a project. I'm going to be making yet yeah, another bow. But this is not just going to be any ordinary bow. No, no, no. This is going to be the Green Arrows bow. If you do not know who he is, he is this guy. So it's this, like, so it's this DC show. I'm. I've watched, I think, five out of the nine seasons, and it is really good. And he has had at least, I think, three or four bows already, and I'm not even, like, there are probably a lot more. But I'm going to be making this, um, uh, this one, and it is actually a real-life bow, and you could buy it for about maybe $3,000. I'm not going to do that, so I'm just going to make it. All right, so this is the bow we will be doing. It's the um, Oneida... Crestful, I don't know how to pronounce that bow. And here is the dude using it. It's this cool, like, lever action bow. Here's another picture of it. So it bends right at the part right there. Instead of just bending the entire bow, it just bends one little limb. And it's connected for, with, like, a string from there to, like, a little pulley thing. And then that's what gives it its power. I think that we're going to be using rubber. In like in, in, instead of that but yeah it's a pretty cool bow let's see if we can find some more pictures yeah this one it's just a pretty cool bow and we're gonna make it okay so what i think i'm gonna be using are these old pieces from a bow i snapped this was actually gonna be a video it was gonna be like a pvc bow it was actually gonna be for where is it it was somewhere it was like this other bow that i had I, it was, it was one of my last videos. This was supposed to be it, but broke right at the end of the handle. And I think that we could use this to make it work. And I found this piece that, like, that I was going to use for, like, for a bow, maybe about a year or so ago. Well, I got two, actually. And now I'm just going to cut this out, and then I'm going to explain it to you after I'm done, because right now I don't even barely know what I'm, like, what I'm doing. Right, so this is what it's gonna turn out to be. So it's this bow, like this limb is, is, is gonna go on that side, that limb's gonna go on this side. It's pretty simple. Now it's gonna need to cut each of them in half and then just keep on refining it until we get it to the perfect, like, uh, ang angle. All right, so I think I know how much I, like, like I need to shave them down. And we got Maddox in the, in the driveway. Maddox, what do you wanna say to the, to the camera? He's making a run for it, guys. He's still making a run for it. Oh, dang, guys. Oh, ding. Oh, ding. Oh, he's still running. He's still running. Maddox, I'm making a run for it. Oh, Jacob's making a run for it, too. Jacob's making a run for it, too. Stop! Get the man money from me. Oh, gosh. Maddox just died. Gosh. My. Oh, my gosh. He's not going all right, so after that whole, whole ordeal, I just got on the belt sander for a while, then I just shaved it down a lot, so now it perfectly fits, fits my hand. Now I'm going to get my old bow. I hope that you watch the video on this. I put little joints in a bow so it can fold up. This is actually an entire bow here. So now I'm just gonna take off the joints, because I remember that I had actually two, like two, two more of these, but I can't find them, so I'm just gonna take I'm just gonna take the ones off of these, and then put them on that. Okay, so I got the hinges off right there, right there. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to put a hinge right on the end of this, and then I just went up right as the curve stopped, right there. And then I just put a little line, and then that's where I'm gonna put the other part of the hinge. So I'm just gonna put one part right there. One part right there, then it should bend down like that. So yeah, now I'm just gonna drill the holes and I'm gonna attach one and see how it looks.
right, so these are what they are. They're just the hinges attached onto the very, like onto that point right, right there. So you're gonna get that piece, screw it on right there. And then we might have to cut this down a bit, but then we're gonna attach a string from there to the other one. Which is gonna be right there. And then the string is gonna pull them back. So they look like this. And then the and then the farther you pull them, the more they're like the more that they're gonna bend. And yeah, we're probably gonna have to cut off a bit of those um like these like the nails and then those big things there. So they should pull together like this. That oh, looks pretty cool. Right, so I'm just refining it down um, to like to make it work. So now I'm just gonna go from the from the very end. I'm gonna go in three three inches, and I'm just gonna cut there because I think that this is a bit too long. And I'm gonna do that for like for both of them. Right, this is what they're at now. So I just I just cut the like the screws off, so now they're flat with it. And I also cut that off, and I put two little notches in this um, in the side. And I did that to each one. So now it looks a bit better. Now I'm just gonna get a little loop, um, like a little loop of um, of like paracord stuff, and then I'm gonna loop it around this to about maybe um, like, like an like an inch down, and then I'm gonna knot it up, and I'm gonna do that to each one. All right, like like these two little things, and now I'm just gonna get a bunch of screws and um and and your riser piece. You are gonna get one of the limbs, and now you're going to screw it right there and make sure that you don't tighten it too like like too much be, um, because we're going to be taking it apart now put them on each side I think that it looks pretty good. I don't know if you can see me here, but I think it looks pretty much exactly like the real one. It only cost me about maybe two or three bucks. And now I'm just gonna have to work on the rubber, making it look a lot like a like a lot cooler. The the arrow rest. I still have to do a lot on this. All right, I'm gonna go to Menards to get all the other pieces, but I just put a little arrow rest on. I don't know if you can see it, but it says a little piece of wood. Can you see that? No, probably not. Yeah, it says a little piece of wood that I just that like that I just glued on there, and now I'm just taping it to like to let it dry. And I'm gonna get two little circle like circle hooks things, and I can put them right there and right there, and then that's what I can wrap the like the stretchy cord around. So I'm gonna put this onto this. I'm gonna I'm like I'm 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 gonna tie the stretchy cord on it. It's gonna loop around, then it's gonna tie to something here. And I'm gonna tie a string from there to there, then on both sides, and hopefully we should have a pretty good bow. Right, so this is what I think that like that we're gonna do. It's just a bit of that like bungee cord material. I think that I use this for um for like my slingshot. Yeah, I did slingshot so I just put two two screws on the top right here then and then one screw in the back two screws on the bottom of this one and then and then and the one in the back so now I pull it down it wants to zip back forward so now maybe we're just gonna have to like wrap it more like like more times around or maybe find like a different cord but I think this works pretty well all right, I just painted those while I'm tired. Yeah, so I just painted those. They're sitting outside now, just right over here. I think they're mostly dry now, actually. Can I get, there we go. I think they, I, th I think it might be mostly dry now. I just added this cool little thing to, um, to like the handle 
So now it can be used as um as as like a melee weapon too. It's got like a little piece of steel over the over the um over my knuckles, since it's kind of like a cool punchy thing or something. Now I'm just gonna make that super super shiny, and I'm gonna paint the other side of that. And I think this project is going pretty good. Right, just got that these done. You can barely even see them. They're just they're just like a pitch black spray on spray paint. Now I'm gonna get my the riser. Can't get a hold of it. Yeah, this, and I'm gonna paint it. I don't really know yet, but I'm gonna let, like I'm gonna get an, another piece of cardboard and I'm gonna paint it like this. That looks kind of cool. And I also put a bit of like green on this because it's the green arrows bow. So I just put a little bit of like green green camo stuff on it, and and I'm put like a. I'm gonna put a, a green T right there, then I'm gonna color that arrow rust green. Then I might do like some other um, like designs on the back that are also green. Okay, so I have it painted and I have the limbs um, uh, back on. So I did a little bit of like a camel thing. I did some like goldish brown, green, and then um, and like some other colors. Now I'm gonna put on like the, the rubber on the limbs and also the string. Come on, zoomed out. Right, got a notch cut right here, got the things on, I got this little wooden one. Setting up I miss, it's not gonna break like break a window and I can see how like how powerful it is. Well I missed. But it is powerful, it is really powerful. Let's try with this actually though. I think it works pretty well. Let's use some more shots. It's super weird when it like when it first leaves the power. Because I feel like it's going it's like super super hard, but it's not really going fast. Let's see. Let's try it. Let's move the arrow up a tiny bit. Maybe that was it. Yeah, like wobbles out of the bow. I'll see if we can fix it. We can fix that. Right, we have both limbs even now, so now it should work. And this is a notch that I just did. I just cut into the wood there, right there. Make a little notch because the other one didn't really work. Now, let's see. Does each one work exactly the same? I think it might work pretty good. All right, this is not fake. I absolutely swear this is not fake. I, t I like I well, like I stopped recording and then I just shot it for no like for no reason. I swear this is not fake, but I literally got it absolutely perfect center. It's not fake, I swear, but yeah, that was awesome. I think that this bow works pretty dang well. All right, just, just for fun, I am on our deck and I have the target set up all the way over there. I'm going to see if I can shoot it from all the way over here. Yep. All right, guys, thanks for thanks for watching. This was a super, super fun build and it only took me about a, a day and a half, I think, about two, about two or three days. And it was actually decently, like, t decently easy. You just need some, I just need a, like, a PVC pipe, like a bungee cord thing, a uh, two by four. That's pretty much all you, all you need. So, thank you guys for, like, for watching this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. See you in the next one.